Ooh. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana. Um, for those of you who do not know, for tuning in. Um, I'm just recording this beforehand, but uh, I just wanted to show y'all, tell y'all a little bit about what this video is going to be about. First, I don't know. But so today marks the fifth year that my ex passed away. And he was more so like one of those situations where like, he a man, but he not your man, but he a man, but he, 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 he a man, right? We've been on and off for like years and years, but at the time that he passed away, we was, that was my boo. But he, it was, it's a little hard to, to uh, I don't really want to get into all that, but whatever. But anyway, y'all, he was really like the love of my life. And when he passed away, I was like really, really devastated. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Like, I don't, I don't know, like this video, I'm basically just showing y'all, um, I'm in the process of healing from a lot of past traumas and stuff like that. So I shared that other video with y'all where I went through that whole weekend with the um, manifestation thing and the law of attraction stuff and how like I had to speak to myself when I was five years old and it basically it basically allowed me to I mean it basically showed me that it's time to let go and for like the past couple of months I have been looking I have a box with like all this stuff in there that like you know little sentimental things that remind me of and I've been holding on for, for this box since he passed away and um in this box i had like when he around this time that he passed so around the time that he passed away i started writing letters to cope right and i have like a bunch of letters inside of this box uh i'm not gonna read them to y'all i would love to but i'm not only because his birthday was like january his birthday was january 11th and i call myself trying to read the letters for the very first time which was a huge mistake and I really opened up a, a wound that I really did not mean to. And it was just bad, like really bad. So I'm not going to do that today. But I do need to let go because ever since then, I kept feeling like I, it was something. that I just know I need to let go of this box or whatever in order for me to grow because I'm trying to manifest love. And I can't. how can I manifest love if I'm still holding on to my past, right? So, um, yeah, I'm about to just basically take this box in the backyard and i'm going to burn it but before i do that i'm going to write him a letter um i'm going to write a letter i'm going to write everything how i feel and everything i'm just going to let the emotions if they do decide to come let them out i'm going to really like just get try to get closure from this and i'm going to put the letter in the box and i'm going to burn it all i know burning it might be a little extreme but i can't just throw the box in the trash because it's, it's still, it's just, for me, it's just going to be like floating and floating around. Like, I need to burn it to know that this stuff is really going and I need to just set him free. So, my hopes that after this, I feel free. I feel relieved. Like, I feel like I gained closure. Like, I've gained, gained closure from this thing or whatever. And hopefully that my manifestations can finally flow in an area of love because y'all my past relationships like holding on to this box and holding on to him has definitely affected my past relationships when i do try to get in one it don't work because they be like they feel like they competing with somebody who's dead and um or that i'm still like they i make it seem like he's still here in a sense so i definitely just need to learn let go so yeah I'm in this right here, so definitely I'm about to go write my letter right now, and then I'll be back, and I'll meet y'all in the backyard. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and I wrote my letter out, and um, I went upstairs and got the box. So I'm going to show y'all. I'll show y'all just a little bit of it, but I'm not going to go into detail what's inside the box. Um, I'm a little nervous to do this, to be honest. All right, so... This is basically what's inside the box. It's just some sentimental things and like all the letters and stuff that I wrote. Uh, my new letter is in there. It's like a couple of different things, but I'm going to, everything that's in there is just like old stuff, like shirts. I don't know why I have his toothbrush in here. <laughs> just stuff that at that time I felt like I needed to keep. Um, 
But what, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to just put it in my grill that's in my backyard. And I'm going to burn it like that because I don't know about just setting a box on fire. Because I did fill up a really big pot of water just in case. But I don't know how this about to work. So I never really set anything into, on fire intentionally. So yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Hopefully nobody don't call the cops on me. But let's just get this done and over with. Alright, so we're getting started. So I all I did was open up the grill. <laughs> uh, my backyard is extremely dark, so I'm trying to turn this ring light on. It's like a stupid one. Just waiting. And I had to put the ring light out here. Cause it's not gonna be dark for long, but it's dark. Whew. I'm nervous. I don't know how I feel. But I'm trying to keep the camera still for y'all. Let me turn the camera off. So I'm just placing everything that's in this box on a grill. And I'm just gonna throw the box in the trash, but I'm gonna burn the rest of this stuff. I don't know if the chain is gonna burn, but I'm gonna burn it. Or the headphones. I think the headphones might blow up or something. I don't know. Just put all that in there. It's mainly for the letters, so that's like the most important thing. And don't worry, I have another one of these, so I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna keep that one. But I don't want to see his face burn, so I'm gonna cover it up. And whew, my chest feel heavy. I'm not gonna lie. Get this over with because sooner or better. Um, oh. I don't know. I'm just putting lighter food on it because I don't know. Never set the fire before, but I feel like the grill might be the safest way to do it. Maybe that's too much. I, I think that's enough. I don't want it to blow up. in here just in case I gotta like close the um, thing. I have lighter food on my hand so hopefully I don't turn fire. I'm gonna move the bike so I won't fall in case I gotta run. Okay. I don't know. I'm nervous. Whew. I think the phone is upside down. The phone is upside down every time. Okay. Let's just Scared. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I just feel like I hope he understands why I do it. Oh, I really just started a fire. <laughs> I'm gonna move back up something a little bit. I don't feel bad. I don't, I'm not sad. I, I'm a little sad. I said my goodbyes. It's gonna be okay. I I never would have thought I would come to this moment where I'm like really ready to let him go. I never would have imagined this ever. Okay, I feel okay. There's some of it. I'm just going to work just a little bit more. I'm just going to make sure that you don't know. Oh, 
only want it to burn like this. I don't want to see the shirt like almost burnt. That's crazy. I can't believe I just did this. And I'm not crying. That's the problem. I don't know if it's because y'all here with me or what, but I'm not crying. I feel okay. I feel like I'm going to be okay. I'm really good. This right here is what you call strength, okay? This is strength because y'all don't know how long. I've really been holding on to this stuff for five years five years and it's crazy i have to look at what 444 mean because when i looked at the video that's it was right there so i'm gonna look that up i'll let y'all know what it means if y'all don't know already but i'm gonna um, put it on there just to see what that means because it probably means I'm, it, i know it means something but just watch this it's crazy so it's crazy because uh, remember, I just told y'all that 444 popped up on my phone uh, as the recording time. So I stopped the video. I went on Google to search it. And it came up saying that 444 means that someone is trying to communicate with you. <laughs> and that, um, <clears throat> it means that you're following the right path. So, oh, I just got back. Well, I came back in from um, doing it at Jenna, and I feel pretty good. Um, it definitely was not easy, and um, it wasn't something that I really wanted to do because I told myself that like I was going to carry those. Uh, that carried that box around me everywhere and I was going to continue to write him letters and I was never going to stop but <sighs> the growth y'all the growth I'm so happy I'm like happy for myself because um, I know that I can see that I have grown a lot from who I was the last a couple of years ago and everything and uh, this was a huge this took like a huge impact on my life a huge impact on my life losing him and um i'm just ready to grow prepare myself and move on and hopefully um i'll be able to be in a successful relationship after doing this and i'm not ready to be in a relationship right now or anything but i am manifesting my love so i want to be prepared you know and yeah it's no better time to start than now so um but reading that uh the, that pick that post that i have put in reading that like definitely did a lot for me because to know like that that's what that meant and i seen it like those it's crazy it's crazy and i know that he really was there with me i believe that and it just makes me happy because I just hope that he proud of me. Like, <laughs> I really just hope that he proud of me. And I hope that, like, <sighs> it let me know that he understands. Like, he really understands. Uh, so, yeah. As y'all can see, I did get uh, my bottle of wine left out that I have left. There's not that much left in here, but I'm, I am going to drink this. Um... Just because I just feel like I deserve it. <laughs> uh, it's not that much. It's not like, you know, before I would go get like a bottle of E&J and drink the whole bottle in one day and all day and be going. But I do feel a lot better. I feel like my house feel different for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. My house feel different. It looked a little different when I came. Like the energy, the vibe was different when I came in. Um... It's kind of hard to explain what I did. Notice something that was different. So hopefully, hopefully that's a good difference. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. And I just want to thank y'all for tuning into this video and allowing me to share this story without any judgment because it's really a hard story for me to share. 
um even though i'm not really sharing the story but i'm just sharing y'all showing y'all my healing process and i felt like it was very important for me to do especially after this weekend it was important for me to let go of everything that i'm holding on to so with that being said i'm about to be posting a lot of stuff on like offer up and stuff because i really need to let go of, like everything like i need to just let go of stuff learn to let go uh and that's with friendships that's with like you know anything like i need to just learn to let go of people and because it's what's best for me so yeah Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, put, drop, tell me how, like, if you ever did anything like this before, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you would like to share your story, I would love to read it. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video.